you know, I wanted to go somewhere that, that believed in me and I felt like they wanted me the most, in, in my opinion. You know, very thankful that the organization believes in me and, you know, this was a spot. And I'm just happy to be here. What's up, big fella? Oh, yeah, man. I'm always. I'm excited. My family's excited. Top to bottom, I think we got a great team. You know, I think we got unselfish guys. I think we got veteran experience, multiple time all stars, guys that have played at the highest level in this league, and then, you know, young guys that are coming into their own that can really help contribute as well. I'm going to play hard, do whatever I can to help the team win. So I'm just excited, man. Can't wait to get started and uh, do a lot of good things on the basketball court. He's always gotten better each year that I've seen him play, you know, from, from shooting to decision making to, uh, you know, just understanding the flow of offense and playing the point guard position. He likes to play fast. I think I do really well in transition with my game. So, you know, getting stops, getting out and running with him is something that, you know, we can take advantage of. Open training camp today. Chicago is heading into the season with several new high profile additions. I'll communicate with Mark and AK. They were even talking to me when I was in the Olympics. It might have been two different time zones, but they're keeping me up to date with what was going on. You know, the moves they made to, in, to impact the team has been great. <laughs> For them to reach out and have some of my input, it, it means a lot. Yep, quick, go get him, Boots, go get him. Good. You gotta close out and take away rhythm. You may not be able to take away the three, but we gotta take away rhythm, okay? Like, we don't wanna give up those kind of threes. Once DeMar does this, he's done his job. Now he's gotta guard the ball. Same thing here. Postseason, we did a deep dive on, you know, who we were, who we wanna be, and how do we get there? JJ, myself, AK, Pat, Billy was a big part of that as well. And, put together a plan and I think, you know, for the most part, we've kind of nailed a lot of what we were trying to get done. I think we've improved our talent base. I think we've improved our depth. A player like Vooch is a talented scorer and rebounder. Uh, that gives us uh, balance with so many ball handlers. Zoe is, you know, lead guard with size that developed into a three-point threat. Likes to advance the ball and looks for his teammates. Alex Caruso is versatile, tough, competitive, great defender. DeMar DeRozan, you know, 20 plus point scorer, playmaker, gets to the free throw line a ton, something that we didn't have last year, brings experience. Derek Jones, elite athlete, long, multi positional defender. Io, calm, under control, guard with size, can do a little bit of everything. Tony Bradley, long, big, that knows how to play, can score in and out. All of those players that I just mentioned uh, possess uh, high basketball IQ, and I think that uh, fact alone gives us a chance to uh, be really good. With, with all these guys, I think the first thing is going to be critically important is going to be how well and how adjusted can we get and how adaptable can we be to learning how to play with each other. I think when you look at the fact that Kobe White, Patrick Williams, and Zach Levine are the only three players that started the season last year and will start the season this year, the roster's totally turned over. You know, the interesting thing for me with Zach this offseason was, you know, he became an Olympian. Uh, he became a gold medalist. And with that, you know, he played with some really great players. He's really, I think, personally taken a deep, deep dive into, you know, what are the mental components that really go into winning? What do I need to do better? Where do I need to be at mentally? He's always been a great worker. And I think part of it he understands is playing with these new guys, how quickly we can figure it out, and playing with one another will be important. Training camp going good, man. We're in here working. We're coming back to the gym. We're working every day, and uh, we're getting it right, baby. You know, training camp is love. You know, it opens up for Zach uh, because defense has collapsed on him a lot last year. And now we have more weapons uh, that each team will have uh, to game plan. We have a few areas that we wanted to address. We wanted to address our shooting. We wanted to become more athletic. Um, we wanted to bring in a few more ball handlers, people who can create their own shots and 
you know, create for others. Whether you're talking about Lonzo or DeMar, Caruso, they can play with the ball in their hands and they can create for others. They can go get their own shots uh, or they can make shots. There's always sacrifice, you know, and I feel very, very confident in the character and the work ethic and, and the kind of people we have. And I do feel like, you know, winning is, is, is the most important thing and a top priority. The biggest thing I think for us going forward is like, okay, how do we become the best version of ourselves as a team? I just believe the best teams that I've been around, there's always been a deep-rooted connection as people. When you really respect the guy you're playing next to, it adds a whole different dimension, different element. You know, do you share a locker room and do you share a jersey? Or do you really share a deep-rooted relationship where you're really pulling and trying to help each other? And I think that's a, a big piece of what it's gonna take for us to keep getting better as a team. There's cool guys banging their heads on that. The more I've, I've know him since my freshman year of college, you know, we were in the same class, great player. He had a lot of success throughout his career, you know, first with the Raptors. Him and Kyle Lowry were the reason the Raptors became kind of what they are today, put him on a different level thing in the NBA wise. Deep playoff runs, has playoff experience, played big games, so it's kind of what we, what we need. The relationship I had with Vooch, and we always joked over the years about playing with each other um, whenever the opportunity presented itself. The respect that I had for, for Mark. I remember him coming to see me work out before I was even drafted. Our relationship stems back a long, long, long time ago. So for him to be a part of it and me knowing and having respect I have for him just made it even more easier. This is a team that's trying to win, trying to make something happen, and I want to be a part of that. And I kind of love that that underdog mentality as well. You know, my whole career has been based on that, and me just want to be a part of that and add to that with guys that had chips on their shoulder throughout their whole career. I had new guys to learn from, new guys brains to pick. Of course, some great pickups in the offseason. This second year, definitely doing a lot of the same things with a lot of the new guys. You know, just being around some good guys who are really good at basketball, that, that definitely helps. First time, man, here, amazing city, amazing people here. First time with the team also. I'm really happy, I'm so excited. I think it's it's important, you know, be be, be together, be be the, create the team building. It's so important, I think, for every team. But I think it will be great. We've been the beneficiaries of seeing early on how good you know we think we could be. It's important for those guys to be here and be here early and start to get to know each other and start to formulate bonds and start to understand tendencies and you know sweet spots out on the floor. It's been nice to see, and I hope it's something that continues. Seems like we have a great group of guys. We all, you know, gel together on the court, which is important, but also off the court. Super excited for the season. Super excited to, you know, see how the season goes. For us, it was a great summer. You know, I think that the front office was very aggressive and they were able to get some very good players for us. Definitely puts us on a different level and expectations are, you know, different, but that's what we wanted. And so we were all very excited for it. So it's a good time. And I think it's an exciting time for the franchise and for the fans and for us as players as well. 82 games, a lot of games, there's gonna be ups and downs. You know, how well we handle the adversity, how well we handle the ups and downs, and how well do we collectively figure out, you know, the challenges that are gonna be in front of us. We should be advancing it, attacking the paint, extra passing it, okay? We'll give you guys 12 seconds on the shot clock. 12 seconds on the shot clock, okay? You know, talking to those guys, I think that they understand what's in front of us and what the challenges are gonna be. And now the process is, do we go in with a kind of diligence and a work ethic to really, really try to improve and get better? Ball the ball. Match up, Vooch. Hey, Zach, good help, Zach. Good job. Good group of guys, a different group of guys, guys that come from winning. Kobe White right here. You know, he's still on the side, but he's, he's all here heart, yeah. you know, mentally locked in. White squad all day, baby. Great emotion, 2-0 on the day. Yeah, you already know what it is. Good group of leaders, too. Good job, Marco. Take your time, big fella. We all have one goal, and that's to win. Let's go! So for us, this training camp is just to, to continue to you know build chemistry and, and build our team. Zoe and Demar, good job, man. Way to rotate. Good job. Lock that up, Zoe. I'm a new Demar. 
know, just being from LA, you know, looking up to him and then Zach from UCLA. So two guys I already, you know, knew before I got here. It's a whole new team pretty much. So it's all about us getting in the gym and, you know, putting that work in. I mean, Chicago Bulls is one of the most historic franchises, you know, in all the sports. So for me, it's just an honor and I'm happy to be here. Shazo, off, good job, Vooch, back. And Zoe got one. A lot of acquisitions means we're full blast on going out there and being very competitive. Guard the ball! Guard the ball! Guard the ball! And, you know, we bring in some really big names and some guys who came from winning and really know how to play the game, so I'm excited. Effort, effort. You all right, keep cutting. Come on, come on, DJ. Good hustle, DJ. The first team to get three stops in a row wins. This is a brand new team. We need to take training camp very serious, get this, you know, get our hard hats on and, and come ready to work. Come on, we got to talk. Half court back, full court back. Ready, go. This year, if we're going to be the team that, that we know we can be, we're just going to have to push through adversity. The thing that we have, you know, the, the willingness to do it, the motivation to do it, so it's just about us, you know, working together and working through up and downs. Driving kick. Nice pass, Vooch. Good. Good job. Pass up. D, let's go. Three in a row. I feel like the more players you play with that raise your game up, the better you can get. And I learned that in the Olympics. It's, it, these are the top guys in the NBA. Now, we have to sacrifice and give here and there for a greater good of the team, of course. But that's what you want to do to win. And, you know, I'm excited for that. If we're all going to be stars in all roles, we're going to have to be okay with, you know, giving a little and expecting others to do some as well. Good job. Love the talk. Good job. Work on three. One, two, three. Work. What's up, Bulls fans?